Okay, hi. I'm Ella, B Culture. What's up, people? L let me make this video. I wanted to address some things that were said. Uh, I posted my review on the MK3, the Complete Control MK3, and I did look at some other reviewers that was able to get their hands on the keyboard and, you know, everybody, man, I, I enjoyed some of the videos I've seen. Um, but even before I seen those videos on my video, when I post mine, I begin to see some of the comments or people reaching out to me via text because some of you guys have my have other means of communicating with me the topic is about the mk3 and how it won't be integrated um you know the famous integration between all of the products actually but specifically the mk3 and the machine, the current machine, right? Some people were as upset about that because I think when you guys heard some of the the other YouTube content creators mention that you guys immediately assumed things and I think some of you guys may have took it way out of proportion, took it left field. So I like to come on and clarify some of those things. The MK3, is a brand new computer. I was gonna say computer, but yeah, there is actually a some some type of computer inside the keyboard. But it is a brand new platform, guys. Have you ever heard of NKS, right? So NKS is the native control standard. Up until this point, it has been NKS one. NKS is the protocol or the coding or the technology behind the the thing that works in the background that allows things to work seamless on their hardware and on the software and the plugins and whatnot. It also allows third party manufacturer companies to build things around that protocol, that software, that, that technology and work inside of the complete hardware of the machine, right? That's 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 how that goes. It's almost like Native Instruments own version of VST, right? VST1, VST2, now we have VST3, right? So Native Instruments has it own. We are now at NKS2. So this is a different, it's like a fresh slate, so to speak. There's a lot of things about the keyboard that is familiar to us in terms of workflow, but there's a lot more involved. It's different, it's new, it's fresh, which means Native Instruments is in the background working to get everything working. Again, this is a brand new keyboard, right? It's 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 fresh, it's new. We're we're from two screens down to one, right? You know, it, it everything is is different now, and so because of that, there it was just an announcement, you know, that we posted up few days ago and depends on when you look at this video but at the current moment the keyboard is not out at the moment so you guys are required to pre-order the keyboard if you're interested you know if everything all of us are telling you and you you know i like that keyboard let me go ahead and grab it now this is for the enthusiasts you know what i mean the the people who are at that point where they are ready for something new now, for those of you that already have a workflow, this may not be the best, or you can just purchase it and when you're ready to move on to work on the new the new keyboard, you already have it. Now, with anything new, it's always gonna be things that's gonna be updating and pushing the new standard, right? In my opinion, and I'm going to say this, and it's not to get you guys to click the affiliate link that's also in the, in the description. I would love y'all to click that if I want to go ahead and make a purchase. But I'm not on here trying to sell the keyboard. I promise y'all that. You guys been on my channel for a very long time. 
and you know the vibes here you know i'm not on here to sell you i have gotten offered so many things that i decline to talk about because it don't fit the channel i'm not trying to you know i would love to do this full time you know be be youtuber all the time and and cover topics and continue but that is not what i'm doing right now and it's not the reason why i come on here and talk about products i, I come on this channel and i talk about products that i believe in personally i stand by the native instruments name i love what they're doing i felt like everything that they've done has been quality has been top notch and if something breaks there's a quick fix you know what i mean it's, it's always a they're always updating i also want to let you guys know this even though it's been said that the integration is not or, or the integration has broken so to speak the the current machines right now is on nks1 the newer keyboards are on nks2 they are working to get some things done right so it's it's me again i'm not trying to sell y'all the product but I just wanted to clarify with you guys before you you immediately start like you know with the you know how y'all guys get you know man you know I can't believe it I can't I can't believe that they that it's not working with the with the with the, with the machine like what, what's going on that's the whole point I get it I totally get it I promise you I get it if 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 anybody is on here you know that will have an issue with that it would be me because i'm all about integration you guys know that you know that i was <laughs> you remember the video i did with studio one where with the complete control i just thought it was unfair how the complete control when it came out the the first the mark one of this series i'm pointing downward because it's like right below me when that came out it was immediately integration with Cubase, Logic, and I think even Pro Tools was on that list. And I'm like, really, bro? Pro Tools? And Ableton Live, of course. Right? It was it was a few of you know, a few out of the bunch that this came out of the box ready to to work in doll mode. Studio One was not on that list. And so I was doing funky things in the settings to make it work. And then one day they finally came out with that integration, meaning like it actually being a section in Studio One where it says Native Instruments because that wasn't there before. We had to go through Mackey, something like that, generic keyboard to make certain things work. It was crazy. I did a video complaining about that. I don't know if that video is what knocked on their door. It's like, hey, um, y'all need to get yourself together i don't know if that video did anything but it got some good views i got great feedback and then lo and behold that day came where we got the integration so i'm all about integration working from the keyboard and doing things from the keyboard itself you know but work it's, it's a workflow it's definitely a vibe you know but you guys have to remember that the machine was the first that kind of made well i don't know what put native instruments on the map but the machine is heavy it's a heavy community that uses the machine faithfully and has been rocking with machine ever since day one right i was one of those persons i didn't get it day one because i didn't know that it was even something like this that exists I think it was 2009, right? That the machine, that Mark Burt, Mark One came out. I, yeah, I didn't know anything about any of that. But when I got my hands on the machine, and it was it was the Mark One. The Mark One was still out then. Mark Two haven't came out yet. But when I got my hands on it, that is what put Native Instruments on the map for me. And when I started doing videos and watching other people, it machine was heavy. It was a heavy community behind it. And then the first keyboards start to come out a little later on. 
I didn't get the first keyboards because I already had a MIDI controller. I was okay with that, and it, was, it wasn't a real big thing for me um, at that time. You know what I mean? But there, I had some friends who who bought the keyboard and who was using it. Point is, because there's a, a major community behind the machine, it, I just highly don't. I highly believe, right? Again, I'm not their sales spokesperson, you know what I mean? But I'm just I'm just coming to you guys from another native instrument lover that loves their products to you guys, right? With that being said, I don't think they would just shun off the whole machine community and just, you know, I just feel like some of you guys is just like kind of blowing it out of proportion, you know, and which is why I'm making this video. It's like, really? Come on, man. Like, y'all give 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 them you know we live in the world of society where people just want things like that mm. if it's not done at that second people just lose interest and then you know after you lose interest negativity comes out you know immediately after that I, just give give them a little bit you know what i mean give them a little bit um just think about everything that they're doing right now they they just you know, with the different brands that they have under their name, you know, shifting new logo, new shirt, you know what I'm saying? I don't know, I don't know if y'all can see that. With Azotope coming up under the umbrella, Brainworks, plugging the Lions. I know I'm missing somebody else, but you, you know, it's a lot going on with them trying to structure things and make things happen. They just released Guitar 7, Azotope, their whole music production suite series that just released ozone you know that whole thing um obviously native instruments got some some stuff they you know what i mean it's it's a lot going on with the company and I, i'm just i'm just coming on as as a machine as a native instruments lover you know lover of their products i use that stuff in my streams my videos you guys seen it when i'm doing music the, the music that I'm, I'm releasing on my videos the stuff that you're hearing on those records are produced by instruments that I use, native instruments or, you know, arteria, whatever. But there is some type of something from native instruments that, that's on those projects or even projects I do for clients, blah, 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 whatever. My point is I use their products. I use their products. And, you know, I'm so it's like whether you guys buy the product through my affiliate link or not or you subscribe to the channel or not what it, it don't matter to me because i use their products you understand what i'm saying so you know i just want to like make it clear I'm, I'm just coming to you guys from a point of view helping you guys understand what's going on because i'm starting to get those comments it's like hey man you know integration is not okay just hold on give them give them a moment because the keyboard just came out so there's going to be constant updates to that they're also listening to the community so a lot of their movements is going to be based on how we use their products they're they're studying us that's really what i'm saying so based on how we move you know the things that we're doing and how we're connecting which is the reason or the the whole concept behind mks2 and if you are looking at the reviews you notice certain things were moved around and this that and the third i feel like the keyboard is structured now or built in a way where it makes more sense to the music producer in the way that we use the keyboard you know what i mean now in terms of if if there will be a, a new machine coming out i know i'm gonna get that question because you guys always ask that question i don't know that answer i'm gonna be honest with you i i honestly don't know i thought <laughs> i honestly thought that if there was going to be something that's going to be put out like hardware wise i honestly thought the next one would have been machine i i, I kid you not but I was like, when I found out that this was the one that was coming out, I was like, okay. I wasn't mad at it, but I just was, I was kind of let down a little bit. Cause 
I really wanted. I mean, even though the plus came out after the MK3, I just felt like the plus was the same. So needless to say, if you already have an MK3, it it wasn't a big upgrade or update or whatever. It wasn't a it was pointless to get the plus unless you really, really was one one of those people who wanted to be portable and you know if that was your main thing and then you you were the one who probably sold your mk3 to get the plus maybe that was you but i don't mind using the machine mk3 with my computer i didn't mind it it, it you know it's cool because the 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 other part of that is a bunch of the stuff that i'm doing because i use machine as a plug-in for the most part because i'm using studio one and lately i've been using bitwig or ableton but more so bitwig because of the, st the stability in it you know it handles plugins a whole lot better when something crashes bitwig don't crash it's just the sandbox of the plugins that actually crash so that and then of course like the features in bitwig is is pretty cool as well i'm not gonna lie but give them time guys give give them give them time you know some of you guys will wait until we get to a point where things are looking good you know where things are more solid you know okay great be the one that waits that's cool but i just feel like <laughs> i just feel like some of the comments on my page for those of you that have left those comments and say I'm not gonna buy it now because blah 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 blah. Um, okay. I just I just felt like you're trying to make a point, okay? And I'm not bashing you. I'm I promise you guys, I'm I'm not the one. I'm I'm not saying anything. I'm not coming against any of the content creators. I this is information that we have to tell you guys, right? So yeah, we have to be upfront and transparent about what's going on because some of you guys will go ahead and pre-order through my affiliate link. You guys will go ahead and do that and then you'll get the product and you'll plug up everything and wonder why it's not working correctly with machine or something might be wrong. It's cool. Don't don't worry about it. It's, it's, it's coming. The updates is going to be there. They are working very hard behind everything because even right now, there is not a public version of the software that we're using for it to connect to the computer. We're all still working on beta. You know what I mean? But we wanted to get the word out there, let you guys know that, hey, it's a new keyboard. If you're interested, go ahead and pre-order now. And I think the whole point behind pre-ordering now, because if you don't, and you're the one, one of the ones who wanted it, you might be waiting for a while. It may be, you know, get to the one of the points where they're sold out and you gotta wait till the second batch come, you know what I'm saying? So that's the whole point of pre-ordering but if you are one of those ones that can just wait until you see one of us say, hey, everything is working correctly. Okay, I'm gonna buy. Then, you know, that's cool too. It is what it is. If you don't buy because you don't like it, whatever. You know, it's not really hurt my feelings. I'm glad I'm a part of the the people who has this. Like I said, I, I, really, I really love how everything is coming together and I'm impressed with what we are able to do on this keyboard. Even though everything is not nailed in you know what i mean like it's not perfect native instruments has a reputation and like i just saw it i said it a few seconds ago their reputation is quality and they're on top i can appreciate a company that holds a standard and I also believe that they know what they're doing. Although I was expecting a, a machine Mark IV or something, or I don't even know what you would call it, a machine studio Mark II. Like, what would you call it? Because we got a Mark I, then a Mark II, and we stopped at Mark III. The plus is just a glorified Mark III. That's all it is to me. But when Machine Studio came out, I was really, really loving that unit. You know what I mean? 
I was really, really loving that one. So I wonder if they will come out with a studio two. Or what would what they make call it something totally I don't know. I'm not really sure. Maybe maybe the next machine will be something like what Able to Live has done with their unit. By the way, I love what they did with the push three. The push three, like the whole concept behind it, I think is very solid. There was different versions you could buy according to where you were. Like you can buy at the base model, connecting it to the computer, right? I think the the, the standard model don't come with a battery, but you can upgrade. You know what I mean? You can buy parts later on, something like that, something to that extent. I'm not really sure how the, the full scope of it, but it was it was made to upgrade into as time progress when you build your your funds you can go ahead and get the next piece that makes it more powerful oh i think it's the the memory that's i don't know something like that but maybe they can take on that concept where where um it would be the studio or maybe 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 it's an mk4 i don't know maybe it's an mk4 where it still holds the same size the form factor and but this time it will be battery you know like the plus but this time it will be true battery true portable maybe there will be a screen on it that flip up and down i don't know i i'm not really sure what what you expect i just i just honestly thought the, i just i thought the machine was coming out with this going on and i'm i'm gonna just i'm gonna just keep 100 with you guys now that we got the the mk3 the, the complete control mk3 you know what i'm saying the new tractor the new tractor is out you know what i mean but i really thought the machine was coming anyway i digress um give them time guys and and i think due time do maybe before you guys get the first shipments that go out maybe things will be fixed by then okay maybe maybe the integration will work now as of right now there's also this thing about what dolls are able to connect so we know for sure that able to live works we know that logic works um studio one was left out of that bunch oh, again but i got studio one to work so i don't know what the issue was i did the same thing that i did with the mk2 I just went in and I and I showed y'all that in the, in the video that I that I post. So I was able to get Studio One to work. The integration works fine, and maybe maybe it's supposed to do something else, different than what it does now. But it works fine. I got the mixer going. Like I can adjust all the all of the knobs. I can mute solo. I can toggle back and forth depending on how many tracks I got up available. I can toggle the transport functions: play, stop, rewind, record, the loop on and off i can use the jog wheel i guess that's what you would call it the the fat knob i don't know i got that working oh but i had to i had to click midi though that's the the drawback to that maybe 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 there will be a, a script version that will allow the keyboard to do that without hitting the extra button i don't know but i was able to get it to work with no problem no issues um of course the midi will work regardless you know if, as long as you can see the midi in the drop down you know when you select them devices you know whatever midi controller that you want to work with your thing but that's all that's all, that's really all i have to say guys just know that things are in the works give native instruments time guys to to do what they do man i promise you man it, it'll be okay man I constantly update stuff in, in my native access deal. So, you know, don't doubt about it. It be fixes I didn't even know exist. You know what I'm saying? You go up in there and you read the details like, well, this is an update. So I, I'm thinking there's new instruments, like added instruments to Massive or something like that. No, no, bug fix from blah, 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 did this. And I don't, I don't, I don't have, have time, I don't have any issues that they be fixing. 
but other people have these issues and so they go ahead and fix it sweet you know um also cubase cubase wasn't really on that list some i heard someone say that they couldn't get cubase to work but i saw somebody else doing a video in cubase i'm looking at it right now i was like cubase work and it's the same for studio one it's like it's, I, I as long as you go into the old so so again once you guys get your shipment in and if there is not a script for your doll your current doll you know say like you work it in reason or something like that whatever and there's not a script for mk3 the mk3 will pop up as an option to choose but you may have to go to the old mk2 so whatever that is however you was able to do that just choose mk3 instead you know what i'm saying as an option for the doll um now granted in logic logic does this automatic scan thing and i think that's what it is i don't know if cubase is doing it like automatic scan where it automatically detect the keyboard and then you're good to go but you just may have to do it manually which is what i had to do in studio one okay great all right guys that's oh i was able to get it to work in bitwig as well and, and I, don't, I don't know if bitwig is a part of that the the list but bitwig works i was able to it, it works fine you know but yeah again camilla b culture remember lifestyle is governed by art this is the description area guys for the the link to go ahead and grab your your pre-order and also i have new music it's called the elements it's a lo-fi project go ahead and check it out it's on spotify apple music pandora deezer somewhere everywhere it's even on tiktok so if you guys do videos just get it on tiktok instagram i've been posting videos and whatnot myself and i was able to find the music and both on both platforms so yeah all right y'all